Hi everyone, this is Grace. How are you? Do you know, most likely we would live all the way up to age 100 and most likely we would be working until age 80. So I believe it's so important for us to take care of our health. Don't take it for granted. You really have to take good care of your health. And uh, today, I'd like to share with you my personal story. No medical claims, but my personal story that I notice I don't have dry eyes anymore. You know, there is a, a lot of talk about uh, anti-aging medicine, regenerative medicine. There are two parts of my body I wish or I hope the medicine will rejuvenate. One is my eyes, the other is my teeth. Uh, you know, for the teeth, there are some cavities and I have, you know, those are crowns, right? When I was a kid, I used to love all the sweets. So naturally, I had cavities and I have to fix my teeth. So I really envy those people who have no cavities or no crowns. And uh, that's my wish. If the medicine uh, will be so advanced that they can regenerate anything, I'd like to have my teeth brand new, no cavity. That's my dream. And the other dream is my eyes. Ever since I'm small, I love to read. So naturally, I was nearsighted. And it was maybe 15 years ago, I had a LASIK. So now my eyes are okay, but then I realized about six months ago, I noticed every day around five o'clock, six o'clock, my eyes start feeling burning sensation. So I was first wondering, perhaps my eye makeup might go into my eyes and I had that burning sensation, but eventually, I realized it could be a symptom of dry eyes and uh, associated with uh, aging and also lifestyle. Because today, I don't know how many hours you work on the computer, but you know, many of us spend so many hours working at the you know, PC, computer, desktop, or you know, iPhone or iPad. We use, you know, our eyes so much and there is a, I don't know, the negative effect of a blue light or whatever, right? So that's why I was concerned. And uh, I've been using this kind of eye drop, this kind of eye drop, you know, especially for dry eyes. But the symptom did not really improve. I was still having, you know, dry eye burning symptom about five o'clock, six o'clock, almost every day. Then I noticed, I went to Japan about one week at the end, at the beginning of April. And when I returned to the States, I noticed I don't have any more burning sensation of the eye. But then, so then I was thinking, oh, maybe because when I was traveling, I didn't bring my laptop. So naturally I didn't work on the computer. So that was good. And uh, while I'm traveling, I only use you know, iPhone and I just check the email, maybe 30 minutes a day or one hour a day. So my conclusion was, okay, you have to minimize working on a laptop or computer to prevent dry eye. But then about five days later, my dry eye came back. So two days I have to use this eye drop. But then again, my dry eye went back and went away, no more dry eye symptom. So I've been wondering why. So number one, again, there's no medical claim. I'm only sharing you with my story. If you have a you know, dry eye symptom, you should go see a doctor, all right? So the one thing I can think about is after I came back from the trip, I really minimized my time working on the computer. So, you know, 
make you rest your eyes. That's one, that's a common sense. But also number two, I realize that uh, as I've been sharing with you on this live, I am on a special diet right now. I call it blueberry diet. So no carbo, no soy products, and no uh, night growing vegetables like eggplants, tomatoes, and cucumbers, and then no beans, right? And instead, I eat lots of proteins, vegetables, and everyday berries. Berries like blueberries and blackberries. So I really believe these berries, the dark color berries, help me stay away from my dry eye. And here is also blueberry drink. I've been taking this for about five years. And then I think it's helping me because when I compare with my friends at the same age, they are already having reading glasses. But me and my husband, we hardly use reading glasses. Uh, you know, only when you when I have to read a small letters like this, we just use magnifying glass. But we don't really need the reading glasses to read the book right now. But again, as I said, but still six months ago, I start developing dry eye symptoms. And now, after I come back from my trip to Japan, every day I am eating blueberry and the blackberry. So I believe these berries are very good for my eyes. You know, they say those dark color, they say dark color vegetables are good, but also I believe dark color berries are very good. And also this keeps me losing weight. So for the first two weeks, I lost eight pounds. And then so far, I don't lose any further. But good news is I don't gain back either. That's why today I am wearing crown, feel like I am celebrating. And I can wear those, you know, dress again. So that's all for today. If you are suffering from dry eye, please minimize your time working on a computer or iPhone or iPad. And the number two, take a good night's sleep. I try to go to bed by 11 o'clock, but usually 12, but try to sleep at least seven hours or eight hours, right? And number three, please try eating blueberries and the blackberries. And as I said, you know, this Jurisco gold label, so good, so sweet. And this particular blueberry organic one is so good. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.